I'm going to see a lawyer today because I have to try to figure out this whole visa process. And if this visa is possibly going to get approved in time for Karina to have this baby in America. Hopefully he's got some answers for you. That would be nice. Yeah. I'm sure you probably got some questions too. Karina's due to have her baby in three months. And we don't get this visa soon. I might be very well going back to Brazil and never coming back. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are hi. you? Good, good. Paul, I'm Mike. Good to meet you. Good to meet you, Mike. Good. Come on and have a seat. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Very good. Kind of the easiest way to, to start on this is tell me what's going on. OK. Um, I'm currently married to somebody from Brazil. Um, we've been married a little over a year now. She's pregnant with my child. And I really want to get her her visa before the baby is born. OK. What the law requires is that you currently be making a certain level of income. How much are you supposed to make? For a family of three, if you have a child, it's about 26000 Wow. It's significant. Uh, it's, it's up. I've been doing odd jobs on a farm and doing anything I possibly can to make money. I do not make enough income to afford this visa. So my only option is asking my mom to help financially. Uh, I'm going to have to have a, uh, a co-sponsor, probably. So you understand we're having difficulties, too, right now. You already know that. I would make sure that we had a place to live and we were totally financially independent. It's impossible right now. That's why I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, but I'm not right going to say right now until I can You understand why it's impossible right now. Ultimately, if it's not possible to meet that financial requirement, then the reality is they won't issue that visa. So it sounds like if I want to be there for the baby to be born, uh, I'll be going back to Brazil. Yeah, I think you're probably thinking the right way, especially if you've got a family to take care of. There's your answer on that one. Yeah. My original plan was to make enough money and have Karina the baby in the United States. But unfortunately, uh, with the current timeline I've been given, it don't seem to be possible. So it looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and give up everything here and go be with Karina in Brazil. Well, Thank good to you meet so you. Much. Glad really you come in. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much you for so taking much. the time out of your day to do this. I appreciate it. It's stressful. I'm 35 years old, and uh, I can't really support my wife and baby. It's definitely um, disappointing. Me and her being married for over a year now, and her being pregnant with my baby, you still do not want to sponsor her whatsoever. No. Because actually, I'm sponsoring you I right now, that. and I don't want to sponsor no, two people. I advised him from the beginning not to jump into marriage. I mean. That was too fast. And then um, to have a baby, I think it's crazy. <laughs> just needs to um, grow up, I guess you'd say. You understand that once I leave this time, I'm never coming back. Since you're never going to do the thing for her to come with me, oh, I'm never coming back. Oh, it's an ultimatum now? No, an ultimatum. it's a fact. It's a fact, Mom. Well, Mom. I think we should pray, and, and it would see what happens. Pray? With, yeah. Pray for what? Pray you're going to change your mind? No. Pray that things work out the way they should. Work out they should? It's impossible. It's not my responsibility. Your family, Mom. either. It's, it's your daughter-in-law and your grandchild. You chose this, but I didn't choose it. I still think it's wrong.